Well, in 2012, Texas A&M football answered many of the questions people had about them going into this season. But there's still a big one that's unanswered. Who will be their next offensive coordinator? The old one, Cliff Kingsbury, is back at his alma mater, Texas Tech, as their head coach. A&M coach Kevin Sumlin wants a perfect fit for his next OC, but with the Cotton Bowl approaching, finding him will just have to wait. We're not in a hurry to, to hire another coach. Um, uh, we're not going to change what we're doing before January 4th. So, you know, anybody that we brought in here from the outside would have to learn what we're doing, not us learning what they're doing by January 4th. That just doesn't make sense to me. Well, Coach Kevin Sumlin and Johnny Manziel may have one less OU defender to worry about in the Cotton Bowl. Oklahoma defensive tackle Stacy McGee was arrested Christmas Eve for DUI and driving with a suspended license. McGee had already been dismissed from the team earlier this year for six games and may be headed back to the suspension list after this latest mistake. He's the third player on the Oklahoma team to be arrested since the end of the regular season. OU coach Bob Stoops hasn't given the status of McGee or those other players for the bowl game. Well, for the second straight year, it all comes down to the final game of the season for the playoff hopes of the Dallas Cowboys. It's real simple. Win over RG3 and the Redskins, and the Cowboys are in the postseason. But to beat Washington, Dallas will have to stop beating themselves. They committed three turnovers when these teams met on Thanksgiving, and that's something you don't have to remind Cowboys coach Jason Garrett of. Not only did we turn the ball over, but they cashed in on the turnovers. And, and before you know it, they made a couple big plays in that second quarter and, and really extended the lead on us. And uh, you know, we just had to battle back, and we'll keep trying to do that this week when we play them. And uh, certainly we like to get off to a better start, uh, but I thought our team did a good job coming back after we were down in that hole last time we played them. Well, the Cowboys are America's team, but the Houston Texans have some of America's favorite players. They're sending a franchise record eight guys to the Pro Bowl this year. And it's quite a list uh, led by J.J. Watt, who is closing in on the NFL's all-time sack record, and wide receiver Andre Johnson, who already has 100 catches this year. Good group to be a part of. These guys have Houston sitting pretty with the number one seed in the AFC playoffs. And the team's eight Pro Bowlers are second in the NFL, only to San Francisco, who have nine. And if you're keeping score at home, the Cowboys have two Pro Bowlers, tight end Jason Witten and defensive end Demarcus Ware. Well, after drubbing Chicago last night, the Rockets traveled to Minneapolis, hoping for the same result against the Wolves. Former Maverick J.J. Barea had other ideas, though. There he is with the long three to beat the shot clock. And it's Dynamite J.J. again, this time nice spin and layup by Berea. He had 18 points off the bench, but Houston picked up James Harden in the offseason for games like these. There's the tough layup in the lane as the Rockets take this one, 87-84. to Houston has now won five straight games. And that is a look at your sports. Bruce?